Sound and Pictures coverage of Cinegear Expo is sponsored by Able Cine. Uh. I'm Lauren Moore with Sound and Picture at Cinegear Expo 2013. We're at the Rotolite booth. I'm here with Mark, who's going to talk to us about the new Nova 6 light rig. Oh, you got that perfectly. Oh, thank Real you. Good. Hey, Mark, Mark here, RTS, distributor of Rotolite products in the U.S. Real unique product here. You've got an LED light that is really unlike anything else on the market. First of all, we have six individual pizza pie shaped of LED boards. You have true control of color temperature from 3150 to 6300. You also have true control of the brightness of the light from zero to 100%. Now, you can operate this three different ways. You can power it three different ways, either by plugging it in and it utilizes direct current. Therefore, we do not utilize what they call wave pulse modulation. Nice Fancy. work. Uh, Nice word for flickering, we don't flicker, which means when you're doing ultra high speed, high frames per second, you're not going to get any black, any half exposed, or any blank frames. Just really, really neat. Um, you can operate it also via a V-mount battery or an Anton Bauer battery, which is great on location. Mm -hmm. Now to control the lights, you can do that one of three ways. You can either do it locally, which means I'm going to stand here and make the unit walk and talk by itself, you can operate it via a DMX board, and the unique nice thing about this when used in DMX mode is each individual ANOVA can drive 512 third-party lights. Wow. Well, we're telling the photographers you don't have to throw away all those lights that you've worked hard for and you really, really like. You can utilize them using the ANOVA. That also means you have multiple studios. All you need is one ANOVA to drive all of those other lights. However, the coolest way to use this is via the new Wi-Fi app because each ANOVA generates its own proprietary Wi-Fi signal. And here we are at sitting here at Paramount Studios. I am not dependent upon a Paramount Wi-Fi signal. Because each ANOVA generates its own proprietary Wi-Fi signal, I could be in the Antarctic, I could be in a desert, I could be in a tropical rainforest, and I could operate my lights completely wirelessly in Wi-Fi. Now, I know you have a question on the app. Yes, you made some upgrades to it, right? We did, we did. Uh, and actually I'd like to call Rod Gammon, who is the owner and inventor of Rotor Light Over, and he can give you information on that. Let's call Rod. Real Let's good. get him in here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rod Gammons. I'm the inventor of Rotor Light. And we're here, we're looking at the back of the Innova here, and this is the control process. It's very similar to an I iPhone or iPad. Uh, what you do is you click into brightness. You can go up or down in ones, or you can press and hold and go very quickly up or down in tens. Uh, same thing with color temperature. You can dial in the exact color temperature you want in tens of Kelvin, press and hold, go in less than one turn of the dial, all the way from 3150, all the way up to 6300. So it's a very quick system to actually input the data. What we allow you to do to control this, you can either do it locally with the knob here, via DMX using a channel for brightness, a channel for color, uh, or we've invented a new kind of Wi-Fi system for these lights. You can network up to 256 ANOVAs, and off the back of each ANOVA you can hang existing third-party lights like Aries, Kina Flows, from the DMX out, so each light creates its own wired local DMX universe. Now I've just put the light into Wi-Fi control, and I'm going to show you basically the back of the app now, and you'll notice that the app looks almost exactly like the light and I'm actually controlling the light now so I can dial up the, the brightness if I double click I've got the fast mode so I can go very quickly up and down maybe we should put the light this way around in the background so you can just see it doing stuff so there's the, the brightness going up and down real quick same thing with uh, color temperature so I can go in tens of Kelvin which is very subtle or I can double click and go all the way up to the blue end of the scale all the way down to the orange end of the scale really quickly We've got a power fade down button, so you can see the light fading down. Power fade up. Uh, we have a, a really useful on-off button, so I can you know, just quickly identify. And if I'm running two or three lights, I just flick between the name of the light at the top, and that allows me to switch between the lights. This is a great way of working with maybe two or three lights, but this would be not the right kind of interface for a large group, you know, if you had 10 or 20 lights. So what we did is that we gave you a complete uh, DMX mixing console and this is the better way of doing it if you've got a lot of lights so we have channel faders at the bottom here so you can see there's our light there I have him under full control here I just flick at the top to switch between controlling 
uh, color temperature or brightness. And the color temperature is actually grouped. I don't know if you can see the grouping, but I'm going to move the grouping up and down. You can see there's a whole bunch of uh, lights moving with that. So he's one of the group, and you can see that moving. All the way through, I've got instant access to my power fade down button. And there's our master fader going down, power fade up. I've got a master cut button. That's an instant blackout for the entire lighting group. Uh, so it's a really useful app. Once you've created the scene that you want, you can store the scene in the little scene memory device. So we just find an empty scene, store it in the scene memory. And then we have a little uh, playlist here. So if we go to the first event of the playlist, this is where I can actually put uh, lights, uh, sorry, scenes together. So we're going here from scene one to scene two over seven seconds. And the colors are managed separately. So I can actually crossfade the colors or choose to switch the colors at the beginning of the transition or switch the colors at the end of the transition. So this is the first transition. It's actually a fade up. And you can see the lights actually performing that at the moment. If I now key the second transition, so basically you can create a full production playlist. Here's the second transition. This one is actually a, a color change. You can see the group of colors are changing and actually the light is following that as well. So you get the idea. This allows you to do it. Now if that's a little bit small to work with, uh, then we've created a big version of that page so you can see you can have a lot more detail. So this is the big scene designer page. We've got a lovely big uh, playlist line now and you can directly edit the actual uh, 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 features in each panel so you can select the scene, the duration, the color control method. You've got a lovely uh, list of all the scenes you've got stored. You've got direct access to scenes here. You just double click on them. Um, so it's a really nice useful system. All of the data for your project, which is all the, all, the, all the events, all the scenes, all the fader patching, um, is stored in the project files and you can keep numerous uh, projects together. So here we've got about five different film projects and I just skip through and select the, the one I want to work on and it reconfigures everything. And the great thing is if I go to, if I did 10 days of pre-production here in Los Angeles and maybe then flew up to uh, New York to do the shoot and hired 10 different lights, all I have to do is to go to the matrix page and that allows me to completely repatch the, uh, the whole rigging of my lighting rig. What happens is that the new lights connect to the I iPad and then you just press and hold on the name in the channel and a list of available replacement devices come up that you can just substitute into that channel. So all your scenes remain named the same way, but you just actually use the different lights and they'll perform exactly the same scenes that you just set up. So it's a very, very powerful system. This is the new HD version of Magic Eye, the app for the Rotolite and Over. Thank you so much, Rod. For more information on this product and others, please feel free to visit rotolite.com.